cervical stenosis or myelopathy. It's basically restriction or narrowing of the spinal canal in your neck that's irritating, compressing, and causing problems with your spinal cord. Why does it happen? Most common reason is just age. Osteoarthritis, degeneration, wear and tear. As the disc and the facet joints degenerate, everything closes down and narrows the room for the nerves. You know how when your knuckles move, they get degenerated, they get arthritic, and your knuckles get bigger? Same thing happens in the disc and the facet joints in your neck. The constant motion and stress and wear and tear of life causes those joints to get arthritic, to get overgrown, to hypertrophy, get cysts and bone spurs that can crowd the room for your spinal cord. Your spinal cord is this tube that runs right down the middle of the spine in between the disc in the front and the facet joints in the back. So as those get arthritic and degenerated, they close down and narrow the room for the spinal cord. How can that manifest? You, number one thing people complain of is it can throw your balance off. You have difficulty doing heel to toe walk, like what the cops make you do is walk in a straight line heel to toe. If you can't do that and your balance is off and you have to walk with a broad based gait for more balance, it may be because your spinal cord is being pinched in your neck or in your thoracic spine, in your rib cage. Necks are more common because that's where all the motion occurs. The other things we check for on the exam is hyperreflexia, where we check reflexes. The reflexes can get brisk and jumpy. Your spinal cord dampens the reflexes. And so if your spinal cord isn't working as well, the reflexes get jumpy. And typically you need a physician to check that. Check the reflexes. We also check other things like clonus and Babinski and other signs that tell us is the spinal cord being irritated. The other thing that can happen is if your spinal cord gets pinched higher up in your neck at C4 and above, it can affect the f function of the nerves that go to your arms and your hands. You can get clumsiness of your hands. You can be dropping things. You can also have difficulty with fine motor control like doing buttons, and it can also affect your balance. So spinal stenosis causing myelopathy or a palm of the spinal cord is very serious. It increases the risk for potential paralysis or a neurologic loss. If you get in a car accident or fall and hit your head, there's less room for forgiveness and the spinal cord may get damaged permanently. So it's much more serious and much more urgent to see a physician be properly evaluated and make a determination as to what's the safest treatment for you. Is it non-operative treatment or is it potential surgical treatment? You have a couple options at this point. Number one is if you already have a diagnosis and you want to watch our videos on potential treatment, one is the non-operative cervical rehabilitation program. From a surgical perspective, there's two basic surgeries we do for cervical stenosis and myelopathy. One is a fusion where we go in from the front, take the discs out, open everything up and fuse it. The other option is a laminoplasty where we go in the back and cut the bone all the way through on one side, halfway through on the other side, open it up, put little metal plates in to keep it open. That's the cervical laminoplasty. So if you're interested in either one of those options, you can watch either one of those videos. And the last option is, if you wanna contact us directly, please email us at info at Thank you.